Spinal stenosis is a spine condition that can cause pain in the lower back, buttocks, and legs. To better understand spinal stenosis, let's first take a look at a healthy spine. The lumbar spine is located in your lower back, forming the curve below your waist. Five large bones called vertebrae make up the lumbar spine. A disc between each vertebra act as a shock absorber and along with the facet joints allow movement. The opening in the center of each vertebra form the spinal canal. The spinal cord is located within the protective spinal canal. The spinal cord extends from your brain and is a major part of your nervous system. Spinal nerves extend from the spinal cord and exit the lumbar spine through the tunnels called foramina. The spinal nerves travel to the lower back, buttocks, legs, and feet, sending nerve signals for sensation and movement. Spinal stenosis is caused by structural changes that put pressure on the spinal cord and nerves. Aging, wear and tear, arthritis, and certain spine conditions contribute to the gradual degeneration of the spine. The facet joints and ligaments can enlarge and thicken, narrowing the spinal canal and foramina. The discs can also change with age. They can lose height and bulge into the spinal canal, putting pressure on the spinal cord. Spinal stenosis may or may not cause symptoms. Pain in the back, buttocks, and legs is common, as well as leg heaviness, numbness, weakness, and cramping. Most people experience symptom relief with non-surgical treatments. Over-the-counter medication or prescription medication may be used to reduce pain. If your symptoms do not improve significantly with medication, your doctor may recommend epidural steroid injections to deliver steroid medication near the source of the pain. Once your pain is reduced, participating in physical therapy can help you strengthen your back, stomach, and legs. Stretching can help keep your back flexible, and cardiovascular exercises can help build up your endurance and improve the blood circulation to your nerves. You may be more comfortable wearing a brace for support. Your therapist can recommend equipment to help keep you independent, such as a shower chair or walking cane. Pain management and physical therapy for spinal stenosis can help relieve symptoms, but these treatments cannot correct the narrowing of the spinal canal. A small percentage of people may need surgery. Stay active. One of the best ways to prevent spinal stenosis is to exercise regularly to keep your back strong, maintain a healthy weight, and stop smoking.